Fantar here to talk about One Piece chapter 858. Now in the beginning of this chapter, fuck, <laughs> poor Peckums. I mean, the guy's hurt, he's injured, he's being held, and they're trying to heal him up, and it looks like he's in Fishman Island from what I can see. But I don't think we're going to see Peckums, Peckums anytime soon, at least not until the very end of this arc, or maybe in a very uh, important climactic part of the arc where he's going to affect Jimby and Luffy's plan in some way, shape, or form, because I really need to see some Peckums. I really want to see him prove his worth of being in the Big Mom Pirates, and I can't wait to see it. But for now, Peckums, you're on the sideline, and that kind of sucks, but oh well. Uh, anyway, the rest of this chapter, it's uh, the, we, we go up to the lead-up of the Straw Hats pirate preparing to meet up with Capone, and I absolutely love that. Where Capone, he tells Vito, oh Vito is back by the way, I wonder if we're ever going to find out what he said to Sanji exactly, exactly back uh, like a while back when they kidnapped him. But anyway, Vito tells him, oh Capone's not going to see you guys until you guys are all cleaned up and fancy and smashy. And I'm like, that is awesome, like so much like mafia like vibes you get from Capone, obviously you know, Capone. But it's like it felt like the Godfather and shit like that. It was it was pretty cool. So if it was pretty awesome seeing Luffy like fixed up with the tie and he's got the straw hat. Uh, you got uh, Sanji. He's always looking. You know, he's look. He looks tight with his suit as always. But they look cleaned up and they don't look like shit anymore. Cause you had a scene of Luffy had like with his regen regeneration powers that you know that there's a theory going on. He grows back a tooth, and then uh, fucking Brooke. He drinks them. He drink. They both drink milk. And they're like they're they're um, they're they heal basically his skull heals and Luffy grows back his tooth and that was a little funny moment you know a typical One Piece comedy it's always good and nice to hear but was what was really like important in this chapter and what was the big part was when Nami and um, Carrot were taking a bath and they were getting prepared they were looking all they were trying to look all pretty for Capone too and they were speaking to Lola's twin sister uh, so. Basically, through her, uh, through her telling the story of how what happened between Lola and Big Mom, and what has been going on. So basically, her twin sister is with uh, Capone. You know, they have a little kid. That's one ugly little kid though. He's got like a hat. He looks just like Capone. But she tells the story of what happened with Lola, and apparently, Lola. The reason why she ran away was because of a marriage, which we already knew. But it's who she was supposed to marry. And the person he she was supposed to marry to was a fucking giant, not just any giant, the Prince of Giants. And fucking Big Mom was excited like crazy because one, she would have access to one of the the strongest army in the world, and two, she'd be able to fix the feud that she had with the giants in the past. But Lola ran away. She didn't want to get married to this guy, and they tried to use her twin sister in her place, and they found out, and that just worsened the feud between the giants. So that's why Big Mom was so fucking pissed off at Lola because if she had the giant army under her control or as an ally, she probably would be pirate king right now. Now here's the thing: there's some that's a major hype for the giants, and they're like the most secretive race so far, as from what I can remember from One Piece. But every time I've seen a giant, I haven't been blown away by their feats, you know? I'm not like a fucking white beard or um, ace, you know? Uh, I haven't been too impressed. They kind of get their butts kicked every time I saw saw them fight, especially like in the war or when uh, they were, he was or when a giant was fighting in Dress Rosa and like Luffy took him out like nothing. But of course, you know, it's Luffy, it's white beard. And uh, <laughs> the thing is... All those giants that we've seen in the past, and when they would fight, are they like fodder giants? Are they like the low tier type giants? Because the fact that they said the strongest army in the world is belongs in Elbath to the giant race, it got me thinking like, okay, that makes sense because we haven't seen them too much. Like, is there like, are there higher ranking generals in the giant army that we haven't seen yet? And that's why I'm really interested to see how that goes. Are we gonna see like Yonko level type giants? That's what I'm fucking interested in as hell because if you got the giant army under your belt, that is a huge feat. And that's the thing, Luffy, he's close to getting that. He already has a couple giants who are already his allies with, uh, with the uh, alliance army that he got back in Dressrosa. So I don't know how the giants are going to play into uh, the wedding here, but we'll see how this goes. I'm not, I don't think they're going to play a card right now, maybe down the line. But that's an interesting story. And here's the thing is that... This, the sister, she said that it was a feud that Big Mom was trying to fix. So there was a feud even before that 
what happened between Big Mom and the Giants? Like, are we gonna get some kind of backstory for Big Mom like we did with Do Flamingo? Uh, it, does she is she part giant? Is she like a hybrid? Cause Big Mom, she's a she's a fucking big bitch. She's tall. She's huge. She ain't no small woman. And the only, and I I've, I've always been thinking like, what the fuck is she? But the fact that there's a feud with the giants makes me believe there's a possibility. Is she like a hybrid giant of some sorts? Is there some kind of bad blood between them with her in her past? Is that something we're gonna get in One Piece? Or is she just gonna be like the typical? evil villain who's just always angry for no reasons because you know for plot purposes but i would really like it if they kind of dove into her character like they did with do flamingo i just hope they don't take too long doing it like they did in dress rosa but that would be really awesome to see and it would add more depth to big mom's character because she is like evil she's an evil bitch for crying out loud she raised pudding to be evil and she was always beating the crap out of your phone because just because she looked like lola and she basically abused her physically and mentally. So Shifon doesn't even care that they're going to try and kill Big Mom. She's on Beej's side. Uh, that's her family now. And she's pretty much heartless towards Big Mom. And it pretty much reflects on how Big Mom like raised her children. And it's pretty much out of fear. And I would really like a backstory for Big Mom. And then, of course, with the last part of this chapter, that was a big chunk of it. That was, like, the awesome part. But the last part, you basically see the interaction between Luffy and Capone. He tries to punch the shit out of him. You know, things go wary. There was a funny part where uh, you saw Caesar there, and he's, like, he's all fixed up, sort of. And Luffy tried recognizing him, and he did at first. But then he says, no, I'm his brother. And, like, it shows, like, a, a funny panel with his hot, uh, hair spiked up. And Luffy's like, oh, I'm sorry. I mistaked you for someone else. But then Nami's like, no, you got it right, you fucking dumbass. But, you know, typical One Piece humor. It's always nice uh, to see uh, interaction. Of course, Chopper fell for it. Whatever. <laughs> it's fucking dumbass. Fuck Chopper sometimes. He's like, oh, dude, really? I like, it's good comedy, though. But, you know. So then you have the interactions with Capone and Luffy. And I could just totally picture how they're going to do this in the anime. It's going to be fucking hilarious when they're like, they got all their heads clashing together. So what's our fucking plan? I'm tired of you assholes. I hate you. But I have to deal with you to take out Big Mom. So this is all just going to go off of Capone's plan uh because luffy don't got no plan caesar's just doing this just so he can get rid of these bastards because he wants to get let he wants to be freed capone has his heart now everyone has caesar's heart now my only problem with this is that it says three hours and 25 minutes or whatever 52 minutes i think and the thing is when anime or anything whenever there's a set time for something that's about to happen it takes forever to go through Fucking, like, Dress Rosa was a prime example. My God, that took forever to go through. Dress Rosa was a long time. And to me, this arc has been kind of, like, good pace and it's fast. And it's like things are coming through, going through. And if they try doing backstories with Big Mom, it's going to be a little hard maybe for Oda to try and balance it out with the pacing and not make, making sure it doesn't drag on too long. I'm pretty sure he'll do a fine job. But I'm a little afraid that the three hours and 52 minutes, it's going to be like, we're not going to be done with those three hours until a while or who knows. Or I, they're probably going to do like a skip where we'll get right to the wedding of, wedding of three hours and then maybe the wedding takes fucking forever. But what I hope is that it like, okay, the three hours of wedding, the wedding, <laughs> ugh, fuck. They finish up and I want them to escape with Sanji and I don't want... I don't want Luffy to fight Big Mom yet. I don't think I think it'd be really unrealistic for him to fight her right now. It'd just be really stupid. I want someone else to fight Big Mom, who is probably on Luffy le Luffy's level, and then get fucking wrecked, so we can just see how badass Big Mom really is. Because we haven't seen her fight anyone yet, and Oda's holding that back for later on, and I just can't wait to see it. But that's what I want to happen. I don't want Luffy to fight Big Mom yet. Maybe Jinbe and Capone can fight her, and she fucks them up, and Luffy tries to escape. Maybe that can happen, but Luffy, that's not Luffy's character. Someone's going to have to drag away Luffy for that to happen. But anyway, this chapter, I'll give it a 4.2 out of 5 stars. Awesome chapter. Can't wait to see how the plan goes out. Hopefully, this doesn't drag on too long, but love the chapter of One Piece. Hope you guys like the review. Fan chat out.